Hey guys, so today we're taking a look at T-Mobile's Band 48 in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, it's out here in a neighborhood, um, kind of off the strip. Um, and it's it's uh, just here on two city blocks. And as you can see, um, it really performs quite well. Um, hitting just over 400 megabits per second with uh, some tests online that I've seen hitting over 500. Um, but today on both of the nodes, I only saw about 400 down, sometimes 445 or a little bit higher. Um, but that was about the max. Um, so as I go through and do the testing here, uh, I'll start to show you what um, their setup is for like the uh, carriers and everything. Um, so they're, they're, they're using uh, three, three carriers of uh, band 48 at 20 megahertz. And I think a primary of band 66 at 20 megahertz, although sometimes I saw the phone picking to or, or picking band 48 as the primary. Um, and then here's me, I'm showing you uh, the uh, node there, uh, kind of behind that palm tree. We switch to uh, Nperf. And Nperf didn't perform quite as well, didn't hit that 400 mark, I don't think, um, but still performed pretty well. And um, you could see the max there was 370 and the average was 311, which is still nothing to joke about. Upload speeds weren't great, um, but there was a point when I first started doing my testing where the upload was a bit higher. Uh, and then here's the other node. So there's there's two nodes, one on one street and one on the other, and um, they're both facing opposite directions. And both of them performed um, similarly. Uh, <laughs> really wasn't that much of a difference. Um, this node that I'm testing here also um, showed some activity on Cell Mapper of having band 46. Um, but I didn't see any band 46 there, so um, this is all solely band 48 testing. And uh, looks like I'm going to show the carriers here. So yeah, so you can see that primary up there, band 48 at 20 megahertz. And then we got one, two, two more band 48 at 20 megahertz. So it's entirely band 48, nothing else. And uh, yeah, let's see. So I throw in one more test here. Ping times were average 30. 30 millisecond ping times. Um, really not too bad though. I mean, for the speeds and everything. And um, it kept picking the Riverside server. I let it do that. I tried a couple of the uh, Vegas servers and um, really the, the best results were on this T-Mobile server from Riverside. Uploads were consistently below average, unfortunately. Um, no CBRS uploads, but still, uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens in the future, you know, once they actually, uh, deploy anything with, uh, CBRS besides two city blocks. Um, I think this has been around since, uh, August of 2019, and, uh, it's been sitting here for a while. A couple people have gone by and tested it, but, yeah, I think that brings me to about the end here. You can see a couple of my other test results with a peak there, 445, but anyways, um, I'll, I'll release a band 46 video soon. Uh, thank you for watching and, uh, have a great rest of your day.